This video is about a mighty wind. A group which follows a woman called Elizabeth Elijah Nicomia, at least that's the name she gives, and she says she is a prophet on behalf of Jesus. She is a wife of Jesus, she is a seer of the future, and she predicts the end times, as well as numerous conspiracy theories, uh, zombie apocalypses, Nibiru impacts, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to cover some of the cultic elements without going over the rhetoric, without going over the beliefs, just simply covering the key elements which are cultic within a mighty wind. One of the most obvious warning signs is where there's a single person in charge of everything. It seems to be that all roads lead towards the cult leader. A mighty wind is no different. There are other people involved, yes, but there's one central figure who can never be wrong, who can only be right, who can never be questioned or debated, can only be accepted. If that's not a definition of a cult leader, I don't know what is. Elizabeth Elijah Nicomia, the cult's prophet, she has claimed the end is nigh many times. But of course, the followers, when she's wrong, will accept the excuse or the lack of excuse as being righteous because the belief the A Mighty Wind Ministries is always right and Elizabeth Elijah Nicomia, as a prophet from God, as a wife of Christ, as one who knows and is in contact with the ultimate power for good and righteousness, can never be wrong. A mighty wind believe in all sorts of conspiracy theories. They believe in Illuminati elites, they believe in aliens, and they believe in the Buru, and so many other things relating to all sorts of conspiracy theories and doomsdays and things like this. They believe the world is run by a satanic elite and they believe their critics on YouTube are basically satanic infiltrators pretending to be Christian or atheist or whatever and they're basically they're putting curses on people. They actually believe when people are doing a joke video pretending to put a curse on someone, they literally mean it. It's what they're told to believe, it's what they're told to believe in. And they actually believe that. And they've got all sorts of conspiracies about people. Oh, this person must do this, they must do that. They must do really sinful things in their life. And they spread it around within the cult as propaganda. They don't relish freedom and freedom of choice as most sane people do. They're too busy thinking there are devils and demons everywhere. There are evil acts and things that people do are not simply expressions of freedom. Their own personal rights and choices. But they are evil because they go against the biblical way. And the words of Elizabeth Elijah Nicomia. A mighty wind condemns its former members. The people who've left the group have been told they're evil, they're satanic, they're possessed by demons, and all sorts. And to the blind, brainwashed members of the group who believe devoutly, this seems reasonable. And for anyone with the slightest hint of doubt, because they're told they must be evil, they were weak in their faith and you're strong in yours. It's made to try and hold together the cult so you don't end with more people leaving. So they condemn their former members to ensure that they do not fall apart, that the group, the cult, stays together. A mighty wind is a parody of a cult, a scam which feeds on donations. 
has paranoia about the world and all in it, about members who step out of line, about all sorts of things, the future, the possibilities, limited to a single perspective, ideas of revelations and the rapture, ideas of the end of the world and planetary collisions, death and torment and why do they follow for the promise of salvation. They're told they're biblical literalists that they should take the Bible literally because the Bible is the true word of God. And yet when Elizabeth Elijah Nicomia goes against that, that's perfectly okay. Because she's saying it because she is the prophetess on behalf of God. It's a paranoid regime which sees the world as being satanic and evil, sinful, run by a hierarchy with Elizabeth Elijah Nicomia at the very peak of the pyramid. It's not so much a question of is it a cult, it's a question of how dangerous is this cult? How serious is this cult? Will it grow? Will it develop? <laughs>